Hey everybody, Chris Overstreet, the Redneck Guy Jean here. It's been quite some time since I put out one of these videos, and this is an extra special self-indulgent video. We're not doing a video game, we're not doing uh, we're not doing racing or anything like that. No, what we're doing is unboxing something. You know, that was a thing that used to be cool for about five minutes. Ah, this is a box full of hats. I did this before back in 2000, and uh, I kept some and was going to try to sell off some others, see if anybody wanted them. Nobody did. So this time, the uh, hats that I don't want out of this box are going to go to Goodwill. The Goodwill in Silsby, Texas, if you're actually in any way curious about it. One of these hats I actually bought as a Christmas present for my brother, who I hope never watches this video, or at least not until December the 25th of this year. <laughs> But the rest of them are a deal from the Village Hat Shop that's in Southern California. They have a nice, very nice online presence. And one of the things they do is they take their displays, their worn, stretched out, what have you displays, put four of them in a set and say, here you go, they're about one third their regular price. Have fun. And because hat sizes are unreliable, I bought one each of the large and extra large display sets, and we're going to see what I got out of them. Uh, if you didn't notice, I love hats. I really do love hats, and silly hats especially. I mean, just right here laying next to me, Pith Helmet. I actually picked this up 15 years ago at a convention where the AC was much too cold. You cannot find this anymore. As a matter of fact, I think the anime that it's from is going out of print on DVD, but yeah. And there's a bunch of others besides. So we're about, I'm going to pull them out of here, and all of them, except the one that's going to be a gift from my half-brother, I'm going to wear for you. <laughs> because I know that you get entertainment out of seeing a bald-headed man put shit on his head. All right. I technically got this in last week, but I held off on recording this because I was actually expecting them to have separate boxes for the different uh, grab bag sets. They didn't. All right. Packing slip, fabu. Okay, hat number one is... is the one I bought for him. Okay, that's... That's the gift one that does not come into the conversation. The first one for me is, you know, some of these are looking kind of samey. <laughs> All right, but this is an extra large corduroy newsboy cap. The exact style is, I didn't put on my glasses, and these days I need pony hat. Corduroy Ivy Cap is what it's called. Okay. Not bad, but the problem is the black color. I wouldn't wear this on the golf course because, well, I'd sweat through it in a heartbeat even in the wintertime. It's only a little bit loose as an extra large, which makes me kind of worry about the size larges that I've gotten still in this box. But, yeah, that one's a keeper. That one's a keeper. And I got another one. Very similar. Village Hat Shop. Uh, Baskerville. But it's really just the same, same thing, except uh, Baskerville Hat Company, size large. And this one actually has uh, padding inside. It's insulated. And it's a damn on perfect fit. Just the right amount of snugness. Yeah. Two keepers. Actually, these are almost identical, so I'm going to keep this one and give away the corduroy one. Corduroy is suitable for upholstery. Number three, and this one's <laughs> extra large, Kangle, born British. This is an actual English hat. <laughs> uh, since 1938, we have been crafting headwear with an eye on quality and style. We went through the blitz, darn you! <laughs> and, yeah, another perfect fit. 
Looks nice too. Although this one's kind of plain, but just the fact that it's English makes me want to keep it. So yeah, technically three for three. Although one of them I, I'm not going to keep because of oh, a $20 ball cap. Size seven and a quarter, which I can tell you right off is going to be a little bit small for me. And it's listed as NBA. $59.50, and a, uh, I have no, let me get closer to the camera, I have no idea what that symbol is meant to be. Made by New Era, and, and not adjustable. That goes to Goodwill. I've already got plenty of ball caps anyway. I don't need another one. Here's another seven and a quarter. I don't even really need to try it out, especially since it's a, it's a Stetson cowboy hat. Yeah, and it's way too small. It's a shame, but genuine Stetson. Original MSRP on this one. A hundred and fifty bucks, folks. This is a hundred and fifty bucks, and you're gonna find it for five bucks at the Silsby Goodwill, probably this time next week. I'm gonna give it one more. No, no, it's just not. Gotta say, I'm disappointed. Five hats so far, and uh, three of the ones that I'm keeping are both newsboy caps. And, oh my god, this one's in sad shape. It's a straw cowboy hat. Size large. Another Stetson. This beat up thing was originally 64 bucks. And it feels like plastic and looks terrible. Or wouldn't even look terribly good. Brand new. Goodwill. Now you're going to get a bit of amusement value out of this next one. By the fact, among other things, this hat is by the Stacy Adams Company. It actually fits. It's a fucking pink trilby, and it fits. Well, it almost fits. It's. I pull it down, and my head pushes up the crease in the top of the fedora. And this was originally a $40 hat. I'm going to keep it simply because it is just too ridiculous not to. But it's not going to get much into... Well, let me try... Is that any better? Not really. <laughs> But the fact it's the only pink hat I've got means it gets kept on the strength for a little while at least. Uh, and this, oh my god, this is in sorry ass shape. Yeah, another straw hat. This one's a pork pie. And if you look closely here at the brim, let's get this. Turn it the other way so you'll get a better look. Yeah, this was a lot more than just normal wear, and originally this was 125 bucks for that. It does fit, but it looks shitty. It looked shitty even before I put it on, and my fat face didn't help. And now we come to the final hat. Uh, Stefano, this hat is wired to shape your brim. Made in the USA. Uh, DuPont Teflon fabric protector. Yeah, I can fry my eggs in this hat. Which you haven't seen yet. Uh, genuine Panama. 
woven in Ecuador, manufactured in the USA, naturally soft, comfortable, and lightweight, worn by royalty. Bullshit. Admired throughout the world. Bullshit. There are many straw hats, but only the best is Panama. Uh, the uncrushable, yada yada. Promises, promises. And what we actually get... Here it is. A little loose, but... Uh, like Actually, the uncrushable bit, the uh, holds it shape thing, not a fan, me. I want this down, so it accentuates this going up. But you see, it keeps wanting to turn up like this. And uh, like that, it ain't me. This is a uh, definite maybe, but mostly because I blew 120 bucks on two grab bags worth of hats and didn't get much out of it this time. A bit disappointed. But I guess they were out of the really silly ones. And in any case, I my regular hats, which I do I even have it in here? Let me let me dig that up. An official licensed Indiana Jones hat. Nice fit. And I bought it at the same place. Uh, Village Hat Shop is not paying me a penny for this, by the way, but I do wholeheartedly recommend them if you're willing to mail order your hats. And caveats, emptor, you cannot get 100% precise sizing of a hat unless you see it in person. So there will be some trial and error if you order hats online. But if you're willing to do it, for my money, Village Hat Shop is the best place to do so. So anyway, that was me unboxing an unwise purchase. And I did also get a hat which is behind the other hat for my brother. <laughs> so, until next time, this is Chris Overstreet, the Rednet Guy Jean. We'll get back more to gaming once I get back more into actually, you know, putting these fucking videos out. <laughs> until then, later, y'all.